excuse me, ma'am. Do you have time to talk about the writing on the wall? Come in. Yes. Right. Things to note. Mm -hmm. Iron Maiden released first single in almost six years. Samurai Oni Eddie appears to be the new Eddie. Albums have continued today, but with no WOTW. Mad Life and Death had three spots with 17, so we think there's an album announcement Monday. So that's three things I think we can go over outside of just like our thoughts on the song. How's that for you? Excellent. Okay. Uh -oh. Hey guys, it's Kevin Harris and Logan T. Miller and we're back for another video to talk about The Writing on the Wall, which is a new single that Iron mm. Maiden released and it's what they've been teasing with their Belshazzar's Feast posters as Logan has artistically interpreted himself. <laughs> Might be better. So, um, there was a stream on YouTube that Iron Maiden set up for, we didn't know what it was going to be, we thought maybe the band would be on to announce something, tell us how they've been, we get a snippet of a single, we thought we would probably get the album announcement, that's what I thought. I thought we'd get an album announcement and a single announcement, but we got the whole music video and new single for the writing on the wall. The. They added a T. Yeah, la that. very last minute they added a T in there. And we got a lot of good stuff in there. I believe we got what the new Eddie on the album cover is going to be. And it's a Samurai Oni hybrid looking thing. He's got mm. funky teeth and a cool helmet and armor. So we got a lot from this video. There was a lot of cool Easter eggs and stuff. We, I mean, I can't even count how many things were in there. We saw Sooty, the R101, Ed Force One. So many different things that you can just go back and watch yourself. Twilight Zone. Uh so much like even the sky at the beginning of like some people are saying yeah. it reminds them of Icarus it almost reminded me of like the number of the beast mm -hmm. uh sky on the back of the album yeah the for day. sure yeah and then we got four different eddies as the four horsemen of the apocalypse on motorcycles which was really cool as you do yeah so let's talk about how we actually feel about the song what was like your first mm. impressions of this song like, my, what were you thinking as it started playing my very first thought was I didn't actually think it was the actual music when it first started with the guitar intro and like the person crawling yeah, across the too. desert. I was like, oh, this is like a, like an intro to like a tour type thing. I was song. wondering where we were headed. Uh, and then, this is my honest take. My first, I remember it clearly, I was uh, uninspired. Uh, upon first listen, I said, I thought, and as most people have noted, the YouTube quality of the song is not very good really bad so please listen to it anywhere but youtube uh, their producer kevin has already said on instagram do not listen to it on youtube it's bad for your health spotify itunes anywhere you can stream it is better uh there was a lot of steve's bass parts as uh james pointed out that he heard so many of uh... <laughs> what you can't see behind the camera <laughs> is the most <laughs> eager James has ever been. You want to come talk about it? James, you want to come <laughs> come in here? Steve's bass parts <laughs> were completely squashed out of that song on YouTube. I don't know what they were thinking, but as soon as I mm -hmm. as soon as I plugged it in to Spotify, it just popped right out. You could hear the drums, you could hear Bruce in all his glory and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get off your lap. It feels good. It felt good. It's like a like a weighted blanket. So yeah, James had pointed out I was at work. I couldn't I couldn't stream it after that. I had to go right back to work. And he was messaging me like, "Whoa, Steve's got so many cool bass parts we didn't even hear. Mm -hmm. Bruce's vocals were so much more clear." So yeah, if you get the chance, definitely definitely stream it instead of going to the music video on YouTube because it's worth it. Though the, the video is really cool. You got to watch the that. video is really cool. If you could somehow turn it on and Line just do it, it up. And with <laughs> yeah. headphones because I, li I listen to it with my headphones on actually somebody and, on the, somebody on the forum posted a link to i think the artist for the the actual music videos website mm -hmm. where they have the really good quality version of the song over the video i don't know if it's just youtube compressed it or what just but. youtube blame youtube <laughs> they, and once again i want to thank youtube for hosting this video uh, You're hosting this video. This is your house. Well, no, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> they're not coming to my house to watch this video. They're going to youtube.com slash Captain Harris. 
www.ghostbusters.org. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit the ding button below. We don't do that here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, okay. So, my first impression was about the same as his. I, w I kept looking at James and thinking, like, is this... Is <laughs> Is this it? <laughs> I kept looking at James thinking, is this an intro? Like, are we, is this a little snippet of the song we're getting? Because I didn't expect a full song till like Monday. Because we still got the albums. Like I mentioned in a previous video, they keep uploading their album covers in order with all these little hints and stuff. Like they'll put the tower on it. They'll put WOTW 17 here and there. Some mm. of them, like the Summer and Time album and Brave New World had tons of Ton, hints tons in them. Of Some have like a couple, but I mean, that was like, I don't even know that I found them all in those. But so we thought Monday we were going to get the single. We got the single that day and no album announcement, which kind of threw everybody off because we thought, mm. Mm, we'll get the album announcement. No, but something I noticed today is when they uploaded the A Matter of Life and Death cover, there was no WOTW because I believe we've gotten past that now. So they've hinted three times on there. On the tank, there was 17 tally marks. And in the trees, there was a 17, mm -hmm. and there was also a 17 in Roman numerals in the tree branches. Mm -hmm. So we got three yeah. different 17s in that. As well as one of the soldiers wearing the Balthazar's Feast yes. shirt. Yes. So. so do we do we think that Balshazar's Feast is the album title, maybe? I don't. If we've got a samurai Eddie, I mean <laughs> Well, as 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 the as the fan club likes to say, if it makes, involves Maiden, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah, so no, I don't think it's gonna have any I don't think the album cover is gonna have anything to do with this. I think this is just a theme for the single. Mm -hmm. I a lot of people thought it was gonna be a concept album. I've from that out the window like after seeing the samurai eddie mm -hmm. i just think that it's going to be themed after that because i believe it was on their website uh a statement they made about it it was saying we got our first look at the new eddie and he was like more 3d than the rest of the video like he was really detailed if you notice yeah the artists were talking about how they wanted him to yeah. really pop so i think that if that is in fact the new eddie then we have no idea what the album's going to be about mm -hmm. <laughs> But then what did you make of the rest of the song, of the writing on the wall? I really liked it. Yeah, I forgot. I got way off topic there. <laughs> so, thank you, Logan. But, um, yeah, I really liked it. After a couple of listens, I really was like, okay. Because when I first heard it, I was like, this is kind of dad rock, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh-oh, dad rock maiden? And uh, it grew on me a lot. I was like, as I heard mm -hmm. the song and you got the mother rush of the dead, how does it go? Oh, the da 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 No, the, that's the, actually Mother Russia. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking, there's like a, <laughs> there's a piece of the song between mm -hmm. the solos that's really cool. It sounds like a, a hybrid of like the Pilgrim and mm -hmm. the Mother Russia riff, and I really like that. I'm like, okay, this is definitely like Iron Maiden. Mm -hmm. And so, with all of it together, I'm like, yeah, I've, you know, I feel comfortable with it. It's not dad rock or anything like that. Well, speaking of James, he's been pretty eager to get in here and talk, so why don't we just have him come in and say what he thinks about the song. Good idea. So James, what are your thoughts on the writing on the wall? Um, as far as the song goes, which is what we're in fact talking about. Yeah, we're trying to talk it, about it. Uh, I didn't like it on the first list and I was thinking this is a little uninspired and a little boring in my opinion on the first li listen but uh, then I went back to my previous thoughts on previous albums when they put out Speed of Light I was like this is very bluesy old rock kind of thing uh, and then the previous album to that one which was El Dorado on Final Frontier and even the song Final Frontier I was thinking the exact same thing of you know these songs uh, don't really pop or show what Maiden can do uh, but when the album actually comes out, it that song usually has no connection to the rest of the album or shows what, what's going to be in the album at all. So with the new song, I don't think that it's going to really suggest what the album's going to be like yeah, in any way. Like yeah, exactly. Because I tend to not like the singles as much as the rest of the album. I surprisingly didn't like Speed of Light pretty much at all the first time I heard it, and yeah, I, I. Then I listened to it like another five times, and of course you love it after that. And I you also have to see it live, and I listened to Writing on the Wall for probably the fifth or sixth time today, and it was the first time where I could imagine it live, and imagine Bruce singing it, giving it everything they got. And Going, hey, hey! Exactly, getting the crowd involved, because 
they they always do a really good job with uh, the singles live. So and we'll probably get to hear it on the Legacy of the Beast tour, I imagine. You know. Yeah, we do think that it's there's a possibility they could bring this to the Legacy show in Europe next year. So that's exciting. But yeah, that's uh, is that all you got for us? Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, that was fucking awkward. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll bring in Logan back. Alright. Well, that was a great speech from James then. I have to agree. Um, Speed of Light, El Dorado, they really don't have uh, an overall bearing on like what the album. Like mm -hmm. When I think back to Final Frontier, uh, Talisman, Love Talisman. I thought it was my favorite song on the album. Um, obviously, the front, the song Final Frontier, I really enjoyed it. And then going to Book of Souls, I liked like River Runs Deep. Oh yeah, so much more. Uh, the Great Unknown, mm -hmm. so much more than Speed of Light. And obviously, well, songs then you like got the epics. Like Book you of Souls know, and there's Red gonna Black, be yeah. an epic on this album, and it's gonna be amazing. No, I, I have. A, that's the thing. Is like, I. In the same way that like people will complain about like oh like are you disappointed that the new Star Wars isn't as good as the yeah. childhood, but it's still new Star Wars. It's still new Maiden. Yeah. So it's a new era. It's like... I think that the song could be better. Mm -hmm. In fact, I I implore all of you to just go to YouTube when you can. If, the quality is not going to be the same. Speed it up to one point two five speed, and you're like wow that's Maiden. It 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 just it's missing a little bit of that. But having said that. They're gonna play it way too fast live anyway, like so it's gonna make it. It's gonna make it fun anyway. <laughs> um, but I think once we get the album out, and obviously at seventeen at this point, like it's very That's obvious. obvious. The writing Monday, is on the wall for I, it. I think Monday because the Book of Souls will be the last album they upload mm -hmm. on <laughs> mm -hmm. on Sunday. Sunday. So we think that a lot of people on the forum have been posting probably Monday we'll get an announcement. Now. Just for the sake of uh, putting it out there, what do you think the uh, the packaging of the album will be? Like what they'll release it on? Mm -hmm. or, uh, obviously vinyl, a uh, regular CD. I hope they do like the limited edition book because that's that's yeah, what I like. Cool. I always get that. Like I got the Steel Book of En Vivo DVD. I got the Book of Souls book, mm -hmm. the book of the Book of Souls, mm -hmm. and uh, I really just like those. So I'm hoping they have like a special edition CD. Obviously digital. Um, I don't know. What else do you think they could uh, Well, I think that I think that basically covers mm -hmm. it too. My next question then for you would be uh, similar to like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory question. How many copies are you going to buy? Uh, probably the special book and the vinyl myself. So two. Yes. Okay. What about you? Last time I bought six <laughs> of Book of Souls. <laughs> That's because I bought one for every single member of my band. Okay. Because I was like, guys, you got to listen to this. I don't even know if it's good yet. <laughs> Um, we had a reason then. You didn't just buy six for yourself. No, but I also have a, I have a few in this closet that are unopened that I can't wait to hawk. <laughs> so, 19th. I mean, Monday's, you know, a decent time for an album announcement, I'd say. Beginning of the week, everyone gets a yeah. chance to listen to the single over the course of the weekend. Um, and then... I get to throw a few more hints out, probably. Throw a finish, few more hints. Finish album code, because Daniel did tweet. And I know I've mentioned Daniel in the previous videos. He's at Bell's Feast on, Bell's Feast on, on Twitter. Twitter. And he's tweeted out one more thing. And it was, I die in a dessert. But In a dessert. It, it spilled, and I think it was supposed to be desert. You were supposed to read it as desert, but it said dessert. And we were thinking, like, maybe it was the guy at the beginning of the video that died. But by saying, uh. but by saying dessert, it means the feast is not over yet, which is also another reason why we think it may be Monday. Mm -hmm. By the end of these albums, we might hear something. But so we can confirm at least it was not a box set. I think we can. It was not a compilation. Not a compilation. Not a box set. Nothing hmm. live. So would you consider it like a new song? I don't know. Now. Blind guess. Blind guess. How would you rank this in the post reunion uh, Maiden albums without even knowing it? Like, we're, we're going to auction it. Blind auction. Do you I think th it's going to be the best of the reunion? No. Or is it going to be the worst of the reunion? I don't think it's going to be either. I think it's going to be great, but probably not the best. Like, Brave New World. Like Politician. Brave New World, Matter of Life and Death. Like, those are S tier. For me okay so it'll be hard it's hard it's hard to pick a favorite maiden album 
from old stuff, new stuff. So especially when I don't know the material and I've only got. Yeah, no, you only have Fat Bottom Girl <laughs> and the I Want to Make Love to You song. I don't think we're talking Make about Make love to. Dun -dun, dun -dun. It's, it's just dad, <laughs> 70s dad rock. Again, go listen to it at a faster speed. You'll do yourself a favor. Yeah. Once you get, once I got into <laughs> yeah. The, once I got into the song, I was like, okay, this isn't gonna be dad rock. I'm I'm happy with it. And then you know more listens, and I'm like the solo section is yeah, incredible. Yeah. The, you get into it, and then all day. Who I plays mean, guitar in this band again? I don't know. Who does? Good guitarists. <laughs> We've gone off the rails so much. Oh, so bad. But that's that's showbiz, baby. But do you feel like we? Uh, I like that. Yeah. Keep that in. <laughs> That's showbiz, baby. That's showbiz, baby. Do you feel like we covered all the bases? I feel like we have. I feel like we're just rambling now, but that's what we do best. So, so. that's good. So please uh, leave a comment uh, below. Uh, let us know what you thought. Uh, also, are you uh, disappointed that it's not a box set? Yeah, if you're disappointed that it's not a box set, that you wish it was a 75 disc uh, retrospective of their entire career and future career with blank CDs so you could burn future albums onto. And that's what Judas Priest was doing. Oh, that's basically they what just said the Judas Priest just announced yesterday they got a 42 CD box set. So they did exactly what everybody thought Maiden was going to do. James coming in? Where's the bathroom? She's <laughs> right around the corner. <laughs> For the price of only $500, you can get every CD Judas Priest has ever put out. That's good. Yeah, it's a good deal. Um, but yeah, uh, leave, a, leave a comment below. We're going to randomly select a winner who is going to win the grand prize, uh, thank, uh, thankfully brought to us by Steph. What, what are the, what, tell us about the prize. I don't have a prize, you're just bluffing. Never mind, you're not getting anything. We want to thank you for your bandwidth and your friendship. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> Can't you see them riding, riding the storm? All right.